I hope you're ready to get started with Astro. Before I jump in, I do want to mention that I have a fast-paced version of this that's about 27 minutes. That way you'll get all the core basics a lot quicker if you're already used to working with front-end UI frameworks like React or Vue or Svelte. So if you're familiar with those, I would recommend starting there. If you say, you know, I'm not very familiar with them or I want to kind of take a slower paced version, then that's what I've got these lessons for. We're going to slowly go through everything you need to know to get started with the basics of Astro. Now, I should mention before you get started, you do need to make sure that you have a node version on your machine that Astro currently supports. So if I come over here to the installation, which I'll make sure to link below, you'll see that this is what's required as of 5.0 and higher, but you may be watching this later. So just go ahead and check to make sure that whatever you have on your machine for Node is also something that works with Astro. If you don't know how to do that, you can come over here and just check the Node version. And you just, again, want to make sure that this matches. Now, again, if you need Node, you can go to nodejs.org, just download the LTS version, and that should get you up and running. Just install like any other program and then jump right back into the tutorial. Okay, so once you've got that, you can go ahead and start a new project. And I'm going to do that with the npm create astro at latest command. Now, I'm going to give it the name astro course files because that's what I personally want to name it. You don't have to name it. You can actually do that throughout this installation process if you want to. Let's go ahead and choose the basic minimal starter and I'll install the dependencies and initialize a new Git repository. This is one of the things I really like about astro is it makes it really nice and easy to get it up and running with the CLI. It asks you all the questions, installs everything for you, and you're set and ready to go. Okay, just like that, I can just CD into Astro Course Files. Now that I'm in the directory, I can go ahead and open this up with the code command. I've got VS Code open on the left, and I've got Chrome over open on the right. Let me just go ahead and start this with npm run dev. Now, if that code doc command didn't work for you, it's possible on macOS that you need to install something. If I do command shift P, I can just search for path, and it's shell command install code command in path. So make sure you've done that first. That allows you to use that code command to open up whatever current directory you're in in VS Code. Okay, so now we've got this over this way. Let me zoom this out because that's way, way too zoomed in. And you can see this basic starting point. Now, in the very next video, we're going to talk through the structure of an Astro project, but I want to make sure that you have the Astro extension installed. It's right here, language support for Astro. This is really important for IntelliSense. It gives you helpful imports, a bunch of other stuff. So you want to make sure you've got that installed. And I'll try to remember to link that down below as well. Okay, in the next video, we're going to talk about the structure of an Astro project. I trust you enjoyed that video. I'll remind you that this whole playlist is a sneak peek of module one for my course, learnastro.dev. If you're interested in getting that course at a discount, check out the link below. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.